Here's the solution to homework set number 15 for ECE 341. This is F-tests and analysis of variance. The first problem, if you look at the average temperature in Fargo over the summer, June, July, August for the last 80 years, is there a difference? So to do that, we're going to do an analysis of variance test. This has three populations. With only two, I could do a t-test. The idea behind analysis of variance is I've got three populations, A, B, and C. I have the global average. What I want to do is find out what's the variance relative to the global average. Uh, that's the MSSB versus the variance within the averages relative to the mean of A, B, and C. So to do that, I have to calculate the global mean. And then the variance between the global mean, the variance within this population, and take the ratio. That's your F-score. So the F-score is your MSSB over MSSW. <clears throat> if this is roughly 1, then what you have is all three populations basically line up, and there's no significant difference. If it's much bigger than 1, that tells you that there are actually three distinct populations, or at least one population is distinct from the other two. So to do that, one way to do that is you can form an analysis variance table, or easier is use MATLAB. In MATLAB, I'll just input the mean of A, standard deviation of A, mean of B, standard deviation of B, and so on. And you can get that if you want to type it in. You can copy and paste, or it's located somewhere. Here it is. Analysis of variance map code. That's the MATLAB code given three different data sets. Replace them with the actual data. Or if you have the mean and variance, just input them right here. What the code does is it then calculates the total population, the global mean, the mean sum squared difference between columns, that's relative to the global mean, mean sum squared within columns, then take the ratio. That's your F score. So here doing that, I had an F score of 70. Well, to convert that to a probability, I need an F table. Um, that's one way to do it. A second way is to do analysis of variance table, have your data up here, the number of data points, total data points, the mean of A, and so on. Same thing as the MATLAB code. I personally think the MATLAB code's easier. You get the same answer. So now we go to stat track. In stat track, I have two degrees of freedom in the numerator. I've got 237 degrees of freedom in, in the denominator. Uh, input the number 70.52. We're illustrating that. Go to stattrack.com. Scroll down until you find, like, StatTrack has, like, everything. Uh, let it load. It slows down while I'm recording. So, again, the numerator had two degrees of freedom. That's the number of columns minus one. The number of rows was 237. I have 240 data points minus three columns gives you 237. My F score was 70.52. Type in 70.52. Calculate. And that gives you the probability. Yeah, basically 1. So this says with 80 days, uh, I can tell these are really three different months. Here it kind of depends upon the amount of data you have. Um, suppose I only had 10 data points for each one. They'd give you 30 minus 3, 27 data points. Wait. Waiting, waiting. Still waiting. Well, anyway, with fewer data points, I wouldn't be as certain. So with 80 years of data, I can tell there is a difference between June, July, and August. Two, to look at the global average temperature for three decades, here's what you have. I've got the mean, standard deviation, number of data points. Uh, repeat, do the analysis of variance. 
is temperature changing over this time span? So here again, the trick, the mean standard deviation, and put those numbers. Number, calculate the total number of data points, the global average, the mean sum squared between, between data sets, mean sum squared within data sets, F score. That's what I want. Uh, this is a huge F number. Yeah, probably it's going to be one. So yeah, the temperatures are not consistent. They are changing. Problem three is if I have the actual data. Three people play at Hungry Hungry Hippo. Is there a difference? So again, input the three data sets. From that, I didn't do that right. From that, calculate the mean of A. Uh, calculate the standard deviation of A. Got the length of A. Calculate your F score. Okay, fixing that. Important to use the correct data when you analyze it. Given A, B, and C, find the mean of A, standard deviation of A, and so on. From that, calculate the global mean, the mean sum squared difference between columns, mean sum squared difference within columns, take the ratio, and here's what you get. An F score of 1.164. From StatTrack, I can then input that. So I've got two degrees of freedom in the numerator, 15 in the denominator, F score of 1.1644, calculate and you get 66%. So 66% chance this data has a different mean. That is homework set number 15 for ECE 341.